A male American goldfinch in breeding plumage glitters. He goes from a winter dullard to a springtime dazzler. Now all small songbirds do a complete molt in late summer. If they intend to keep flying, they need a fresh set of feathers. But some species, like the goldfinch, also have a partial molt in spring, getting new feathers on the body, but not on the wings and tail. The males of species that only molt once a year are as gorgeous in December as they're going to be in April. In the species that do a half molt in the spring, the males are jazzing themselves up to attract a mate. But no other songbird species doing that partial spring molt looks so bizarrely patchy as goldfinches do during the transition, as if they were suffering a passing bout of leprosy. By mid-February here in Missouri, yellow begins to edge into the plumage of the males, and you can see the beginnings of the black patch on his head. I'd say that they're transformed into Cinderella, except that only the males turn into neon. But if the females are Cinderella, they're still coated in cinders, with only a half-hearted smudge of yellow and no black crown. Both sexes develop an orange bill. Although their spring partial molt does not include the wings and tail, an odd change takes place in the goldfinch's white wing bars as the breeding season progresses. The white stripes gradually diminish, getting narrower and sometimes virtually fading away by September. It's not molting. The birds didn't replace those feathers. What happens is that a buff coating on the ends of wing bar feathers gradually disintegrates to the point where the black beneath shows through, making their wings look almost entirely black. In spring, all the other songbirds are courting, pairing up, and nesting. And that's what the goldfinches look like they're doing too. The males get more brilliant by the day, and it looks like their hormones have kicked in because they chase each other around the same way other birds fighting for nesting territory do. The males twitter their tinny tune at about half a decibel apiece. If the Carolina wren can be heard nearly a quarter mile off, a goldfinch can be heard for about mm, 20 feet, if there's no breeze, and if the other birds are quiet. But although no individual bird makes much noise, they make plenty as a group, twittering like a choir of tenors warming up. Every once in a while, one or two of them flit down to the feeder, undulating as they go. They dip in flight because they don't beat their wings continuously. Instead, they flap a few times, then pause. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. One, two, three, four, tuck. Why bother to go straight from point A to point B when you can enjoy a bouncing, zagging bobsled ride with less effort? Though, I gotta say that they do sometimes look as wobbly as a flying potato chip. Goldfinches often sing as they fly. Well, call it singing if you want to. I'd call it chittering or squeaking. Their chattering chorus is the white noise of spring bird song. And yet, despite all these normal, getting ready to raise a family, springtime activities, the goldfinches are not like other songbirds. They're not getting ready to raise a family. Not quite yet. Case in point, the other birds seek more bugs than usual because they need the extra protein during breeding season. Not the goldfinches, though. They're indifferent to bugs. And not just because it isn't time to breed yet, but more importantly because they're vegetarians. Sure, they might eat a few insects by accident, but what they want is seeds, more seeds, and the occasional bud, valued for the energy that birds can derive from its sugars. This vegetarian diet dictates that goldfinches nest later in the season, when the coneflowers, thistle, joe pieweed, asters, and coreopsis offer a bounty of seeds for them to feed their young. Since those flowers won't mature until July, goldfinch nestlings won't fledge until late August or early September. 
having been fed regurgitated seeds from the moment they hatched. That's why any brown cowbird chick unlucky enough to find itself in a goldfinch nest won't survive. Cowbirds need more protein than they can derive from seeds. Almost as soon as the chicks fledge, the parents will start their annual molt in their drab winter camouflage. They'll be faded imitations of springtime glory.